Okay, now we're going to look at some of those same vessels on, and nerves and muscles on some different models. So here's another leg. You can't really see your common iliac or anything, but you can see this would be after it comes through the inguinal canal. You have femoral vein, artery, and nerve. Here's your iliopsoas muscle. Here's your femoral triangle. If we follow our femoral artery down, we can see uh, the ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex with the descending branch. This is supposed to be your deep femoral with perforating arteries. We can see our femoral vein, artery, and saphenous nerve running in that adductor hiatus. We'll turn it around to the back. <coughs> On the back we can see our gluteus maximus, which I'll take off. Underneath you have the gluteus medius here, gluteus minimus, piriformis. You've got your three little pies, so superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus. Here's your square muscle, your quadratus femoris. Here is your sciatic nerve. We have artery and nerve above piriformis, so this is superior gluteal artery and nerve. We have an artery and nerve below piriformis. Inferior gluteal artery. Here's your sciatic. On this one, it's hard to tell. This one does not look like internal pudendal artery. It's probably part of inferior gluteal. And this nerve right here is probably your pudendal nerve. This right here would be your medial circumflex femoral. Sciatic nerve continues down. Here's your popliteal artery and vein emerging from the adductor hiatus sciatic nerve splitting into tibial to go down the medial aspect of the leg and common peroneal over to the side and you can even see a superior lateral genicular and inferior lateral genicular coming off of that popliteal artery. Okay here's the rest of that same leg so again we have popliteal artery and vein, tibial nerve, common peroneal nerve, superior medial genicular, superior lateral genicular, looking at the toes. You can see a uh, inferior lateral genicular here, no inferior medial, popliteal artery and vein, tibial nerve, follow those down. This popliteal is going to split into posterior tibial artery and anterior tibial artery which is actually up here. The color's been kind of picked off, but you can see it going through those muscles to the front. So anterior and posterior tibial. Posterior tibial gives off uh, your fibular artery here. Remember, posterior tibial artery runs with the tibial nerve. The big mistake here is that you'll say tibial artery or you'll say posterior tibial nerve. It's tibial nerve and posterior tibial artery. And then we can follow those down all the way behind that medial malleolus. If we turn this leg over, you can't really see anything on this one. You can, however, in the foot, see a nice extensor hallucis brevis here. You can see it going to the big toe. And then this right here would be extensor digitorum brevis here. And here's your extensor hoods and your extensor retinaculum of the foot. Okay, one more style of leg here and then we'll move on to the foot and finish out the packet. Here's our femoral triangle, femoral artery, vein, nerve. Take off the sartorius muscle. You can also see your iliopsoas muscle here. We'll also take off our rectus femoris. We can see our typical three branches here, ascending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex, descending branch of the lateral femoral circumflex, and then deep femoral going in the muscle. Here in the adductor hiatus, we see saphenous nerve, femoral artery, femoral vein. Turning this guy over, take our calf muscles off. Take our biceps femoris, our semitendinosus, semimembranosus off. Here's our gluteus maximus, of course. Underneath of that, you can see your gluteus medius, 
gluteus minimus, piriformis, one, two, three, underneath the sciatic nerve, superior gemellus, obturator internus, inferior gemellus, square one, quadratus femoris. Looking at our piriformis, we can see a blood vessel coming out on top of that, which is superior gluteal artery. Underneath of piriformis, we see a blood vessel coming out of there, which is inferior gluteal artery. And you'd also have an internal pudendal artery coming out and going underneath this ligament. Here's your sciatic nerve. <coughs> On this one, we can see uh, sciatic coming down and branching into common peroneal and tibial. This would be a perforating branch here, feeding the adductor magnus. Here's your popliteal vessels peeking out of the adductor hiatus, so now they are popliteal artery and vein and tibial nerve. We're going to have our four geniculars coming off of there. This one is superior lateral, superior medial, inferior medial, inferior lateral. Those are all genicular arteries, and that's how you'd name them popliteal artery, vein, and tibial nerve, common peroneal nerve, following down through the lower leg. Our popliteal artery is going to give off anterior tibial, continue as posterior tibial, posterior tibial will give off peroneal or fibular artery, and run down with the tibial nerve all the way to the ankle. If we turn over to the front, We can see those geniculars coming out on the front side, anastomosing around the joint. And we can see our anterior tibial artery here, running with our uh, deep peroneal nerve. So common peroneal has split, superficial would come out, and you can see a little piece of it down here. So it's going to run on top of the muscle, and then deep fibular will go underneath running on that interosseous membrane with your anterior tibial artery. So anterior tibial artery and deep peroneal or deep fibular nerve. In the foot, we can't see the vessels, but again you can see your extensor hallucis brevis and extensor digitorum brevis here.